Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for March 5th, 2019. So those bulls, they are just relentless. And I got to admit, yesterday turned out far differently than I would have expected as we kind of waited for news about a possible trade deal or details about a trade deal. I kind of assumed that the market would just rest and and take a break um, kind of like Europe and and um, um, Asian markets had done but that's not the case the bulls decided they don't care they want to go higher and um, breaking th through here on the Dow above this resistance level pretty big deal um, Catching up with the uh, with the S and P five hundred, catching up with the Nasdaq, and breaking through that resistance. Now, of course, popping through resistance is only part of the deal. Remember, we always have to make sure not only do we have to break through, but then we have to prove we can hold it as support. So. Right now, we're looking pretty good. And if we look at the morning's futures, futures are also positive ahead of the employment situation number. And we'll talk about that in just a moment. So what's going to be important is that now that we've broken through, that we prove that we can hold up here uh, to move higher. And if that is the case, then we start looking. Uh, I think the market just has a bullseye on these highs up here. They The bulls just want those highs right now. And I think they're going to be relentlessly pushing for that. Now, yesterday we heard from the president that it could be another three to four weeks kind of a thing before we hear anything about a trade deal. And, and, and in that light, um, we could see more resting or consolidation up here as, as we wait. Remember, new earnings season doesn't begin for uh, about three more weeks. And um, it may be... Uh, that we have to wait for a trade deal, for those earnings, something like that to give us that major catalyst to really push higher. And the last thing we want to see is any kind of a failure up here. Because if we get a failure here in the Dow, let's, let me just draw a failure pattern on here. If this were to drop and fail back below this level, that essentially constitutes a lower high. And if you were to look at a bigger picture of the chart, um, we go to a weekly and if we get a failure there can you guys see the possibility here of a head and shoulders top that would be a problem so we don't want to see that failure it's okay if it rests up here but the last thing we need is some kind of failure at this point so we need those bulls to stay strong and keep pushing to that upside because we could run into a little fear here if we started to uh, drift lower let's take a look at the spy spy looking really good holding above support yesterday which is a good sign holding up there broke through hanging on to that level and looking pretty strong kind of keep in mind where current trend here is here on the spy that it is entirely possible that we could just kind of drift our way over there um uh, waiting for that trend and you know that could give us that rest we need building that uh, bullish energy to push higher and maybe attack these highs up here. So don't be surprised if we see a little bit of resting or something coming in, into play um, over the next um, week or so. Um, but also, I, I wouldn't be at all surprised to see those bulls just dig in and say, look, we want the high, we want it right now. Um, and they could push certainly push right on through and um, seek those highs so let's keep an eye on that anything is possible um, and right now the bulls are certainly large and in charge so watch that now once again we don't want to see a failure up here because if we take a look at this weekly chart you guys can see the the potential problem that could exist of a head and shoulders type top um, that could be devastating if that were to occur Right now, I don't see that as, I, I would put the odds on that right now as relatively low, but you never know what happens over a weekend, so consider that. Let's take a look at the cues. The cues looking really, really good here, holding up strong. The trend has been uh, really strong. We had a little pullback yesterday 
to test that level of support. And as you can see, we ended up ultimately at the end of the day holding that level of support. So any rest consolidation in here is really fine. We just need to find um, that bullish reason to pop up off of there. And you can see uh, an attack of these highs. It just seems um, incredibly likely at this point. Um, once again, a failure up here could be a problem for us if we take a look at that weekly chart. There's that little problem up here. Now this doesn't appear um, quite so much as a head and shoulders type top, but certainly could prove to be a double top. So we don't want to see that failure pattern coming in. A rest up here is perfectly fine, but a, a failure up here could really bring in a little bit of fear, have a little bit of concern in the market. Let's take a look at IWM. Oops. IWM, even the IWM got involved yesterday in the move. And although this is still technically underneath um, a, um, a higher low, we, we had a nice bullish move yesterday and a push forward. So we could easily today push on through breaking this high and that really blows uh, blows the uh, downtrend uh, that is kind of in place there. So if we can pop through that high, we'll be in pretty good shape. Now, IWM has a lot of work to do um, to really get bullish again. Um, but it's nice to see that at least it's participating with the market right now trying to move higher. So that's a nice sign uh, for us. Let's take a look at the VIX. That VIX yesterday, a little little dancing around here, started up a little bit and then um, ultimately pulled back. Keep in mind, we're gonna watch this level of support right here. If price holds in this area, we could start to see a um, little bit of fear creeping up here as we approach those highs, so watch that close. If um, we get a good employment situation number today at 8.30 and the bulls really take off moving um, strongly today, we could easily see this dip and break this level of support, maybe pushing down in here toward these low areas in the 12s. That would be amazing. Um, just no fear here in the market. Let's um, take a look at T2122, which is a four week new high to new low ratio. If you take a look at this, we have been danced around here just below this level for a little while and dancing around in here toward this uh, bearish, what I call the bearish reversal zone. Just keep in mind that what this is telling us is we still have room to the upside. There's still upside potential here in the market, so don't really fear it um, at this point. It looks pretty positive. And um, I got it, unless we get a, a, a poor employment situation number, I just have to believe that the bulls are going to maintain a bullish uh, close here for today um, and hold on to these gains uh, for the week. Um, I, I don't want to be predicting anything, but the bulls have just been very relentless. They don't want to give up an inch, and the bears just don't seem to have much for teeth right now, um, unable to get anything going it uh, except for just short-term uh, pullbacks so let's take a look here and just keep in mind that we do have plenty of room for a downside side move but there is still that upside potential here pushing up higher so watch that close let's take a look at our economic calendar today and this is going to be really important at, at 8 30 a.m eastern we have that big employment situation number if you guys remember last whoops last um what the heck happened there there we go last week uh, or excuse me last month we had um that employment situation number really disappointed. It came in at 20,000, which was far below expectations. And uh, right now the consensus for um, the employment situation number um, is, well, at least uh, the Econo Day um, consensus is somewhere around 170,000. So if we get that kind of a rebound, if, we, if we're pretty good um, or come close to that number, 
we should be in pretty good shape, and that might help the Bulls uh, continue to stay inspired if, if those uh, jobs numbers come in strong. So watch that closely this morning at 8.30. After that, not much going on, except we always want to pay attention when a Fed speaker is out there speaking. Uh, they've been really, really good lately about not uh, not saying too much to um, uh, change perspective of the market. So uh, unlikely any problems there, but just something to pay attention to. On the earnings calendar, we only have a very few companies reporting earnings today. Um, eight or 10 companies reporting earnings today on the calendar, and none of them would be what I would consider to be notable earnings. So uh, the market will be kind of left to its own devices here for the next few weeks um, as we wait for um, uh, second quarter earnings to kind of to kick off. So we'll want to uh, just pay attention that we may lose some of our catalysts uh, for uh, moving higher. We may have to rest a little bit in the market. And, you know, having to wait for maybe three or four more weeks um, for a potential trade deal. And I say potential because it, it the way the the president worded it yesterday is is that well we should know if we're going to have a trade deal in the next three to four weeks, so um, kind of interesting um, on that as they work out some of those uh, details. It it sounds pretty positive though, like they that like both sides have really come pretty close to a deal. So maybe if they can figure out some of those enforcement issues and how they deal with it that um, will smooth things out and we can start moving um, with some confidence here in the market. Let's take a look. Whoops, well, before we do that, before we do that, um, I would just like to say thank you to everyone who have, have, is a subscriber to uh, the Right Way Options channel. You know, the purpose of this channel is just to help folks um, with their morning preparation and, and provide a lot of free education uh, to uh, traders out there. Because I, I, I came from a place where um, I'm an old carpenter, came from a place where I struggled for a long, long time. And I found it very, very difficult to find good quality information that wasn't just full of hype and, and, and just pressing some of these ridiculous notions for the market. So if you find these things helpful, guys, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube, the follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. I truly, truly appreciate that. And just know that every time you click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment, it helps those algorithms show these videos to more folks. If you find it helpful, hope, you know, uh, other people might find it helpful as well. And, um, if you help me out with that, I truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome for, for doing that. We've seen tremendous growth here in the channel um, as of late, and um, it, it's all due to you guys. Uh, yes, I put out the content, but, but it's you liking and um, subscribing and leaving comments that's making the big difference. So thank you to everyone who does that. Um, you guys humble me. I truly, truly appreciate that. Um, also, please feel free to share this video with any friends and family. It's available. Just click that share button and share it over on Facebook or Twitter or wherever you share things on, uh, for social media. And, uh, of course, with any friends and family. Everyone, let's take a look at a few trades that could be setting up. Now, I've mentioned this trade a couple of times, and this one I'm still watching pretty darn closely. And this is MDLZ. MDLZ looking really, really good here in this pattern. Just resting, going sideways. But I'm watching MDLZ pretty closely here. And you can see my next alert up here is, is right in this area. I'm looking for that to pop out. This is a pattern that I call pop out of the box. It's a nice little tight consolidation. There's no sellers below this level. There's no buyers below this level. And because the stock is trending, we favor the upside move. So we wait for proof that the bulls want to push that on through. And we watch uh, um, those trades develop. And as a matter of fact, it's just a one of those patterns that just repeats over and over and over in the market and um, has been very, very 
uh, profitable for me over the years and for a lot of folks who follow that pattern. So kind of keep an eye on that. MDLZ looking pretty good there and uh, feeling pretty strong. Let's take a look at Qualcomm. Now, I'm already in a position on Qualcomm, and Qualcomm tried to pop up yesterday and ended up pulling back at the end of the day. NASDAQ had just a little bit of squishiness in it yesterday. But looking at Qualcomm, this is a nice break above a major area of resistance and, and now support. And we're holding in this trend, so if Qualcomm can maintain um, itself up here and just hold above this area. We want to watch and wait. Um, yesterday could have been a purchase point. Um, uh, it's unfortunate that it pulled back, but if buyers were to step in here and start pushing off of this level, we would look to attack these next levels higher and really start to move Qualcomm. So kind of keep an eye on that nice looking chart and it's looking just pretty darn good here. Now, um, taking a look at Roku. Roku, <laughs> this has been one of those charts that I keep looking at it thinking this thing is, is gonna be bearish and then all of a sudden it switches. No, this is gonna be bullish. And now Roku is looking, um, uh, well, a little bit spooky here. So Roku trying to move higher and now we've put in a higher low and followed through that um, or excuse me that lower high followed through with that lower high here we'll want to keep an eye on this it's possible if you're looking for a short trade if you think the market might pull back um, Roku could be setting up that short trade so you might want to keep an eye on it um, I, I try not to short and this is me personally I try not to do any counter trend trading um, I like to trade with the trend of the market and um, so it, I usually find it difficult to short trades when the market is so bullish but this one is starting to look um, uh, well pretty decent here for that potential to move lower so kind of keep an eye on that uh, yeah, just an interesting chart uh, to be certain um, Let's take a look at NVIDIA. NVIDIA uh, is a trade that I actually hold at the moment and we've made great money on this trade. Now, NVIDIA has got a little work to do. You can see we're, we're pushing up here to test this resistance right in here. Don't be all surprised to see NVIDIA kind of rest or pull back in here before that opportunity to go higher. But NVIDIA looking pretty decent here still and still has some upside potential in it, I think, to keep an eye on. Now, those of you out there who kind of watch those cannabis stocks, take a look at ACB. ACB is making this nice move. It, it fell back below this price support level, which was unfortunate. I was hoping it would rest up above that. Fell back below here, but we've pulled back to trend and we're kind of slowing down in this move. Nice little consolidating price action going on in here right now. If that moves over here toward the trend, you might want to keep an eye on that for that possible pop and break on higher here looking pretty decent couple more ideas of potential shorts take a look at Altria Altria really breaking down here uh, breaking its trend uh, losing um, resistance or uh, failing at resistance and you can see a rally back beginning right now if we were to rally back up here toward resistance and then show a failure that's my shorting pattern by the way I, I don't try to chase the first move and I don't try to predict the first move stock moves down rallies up and then shows failure that's where I want to take the trade short my stop loss is very very close and again one of those very common patterns in the market and you can see it um, like right back in here where we uh, make that lower high failure right here where we fail we rally back up and fail rally back up and fail rally back up and fail that's my favorite shorting pattern I like to do it when the market is short but as you can see this is certainly setting up for that kind of look that failure any rally back wait for that shorting pattern um, last but not least take a look at STZ you guys remember um, I, I was mentioning STZ right in here as a possible trade and said I'd probably be in it if it were not for those earnings and I ended up not buying this trade 
and my goodness, earnings yesterday, that thing just went off like a rocket. Now that we've popped up here, don't chase this trade, but STZ needs a rest, pullback, or consolidation. So if it can break through this area up here, maybe consolidate, pull back, rest for a little bit, and give us that next opportunity. STZ certainly has changed his character here and is looking pretty darn bullish um, in the short term. So let's keep an eye on STZ. Just one for the list and one to pay attention to. Remember, none of these um, ideas are any kind of a recommendation to buy or sell any positions. Just simply something that uh, should be watched, put on your watch list for your evaluation. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you a fantastic weekend. And guys, if you're struggling, please keep up the real hard work on this. Um, trust me, it's worth the effort. Everyone take care. We'll talk to you all soon, bright and early on Monday morning. Have a great week.